hello welcome to my channel um i'm going to share to you the second verse for the day um it's romans 10 17 Where is it? consequently faith comes from hearing the message and the message is heard through the word about christ romans 10 17 ayan according here to faith our faith faith is a uh, belief or a strong strong belief in someone or something with or without evidence it's for me i had my faith because i don't know i just know it mm, did i just know it no i think somebody told me and then that's why i have faith i can't just have faith without somebody sharing to me i think so i had faith in christ because somebody shared to me and i always knew there is god because because i just grew up that people in the country and my friends are sharing about God and yeah I, when I learned about God it's already there I don't know how how I really how did it really started but yeah but my Christian life started from somebody sharing to me about Christ and it became more stronger when my husband shared to me about his faith something like that anyway this is uh, my verse for today the second verse faith comes from hearing the message the message hearing hearing is i think they wrote it from before hearing because at the time of Adam and Eve and at the time when when on Jesus time when they were writing the word of God I think there's no writing yet it's only a word of mouth transferred to generation to generation I don't think they can write before but that's why hearing but nowadays you can get the word of God by reading, reading this Bible, not just hearing, and not just through your friends. God is using all sorts of social media and everything to, to make his word go to all the ends of the world. And yeah, hearing the message, the message there is this that they are saying not just the news in ABS season or GMA but the message about this you will have faith if you hear somebody speaking to you about the Bible message is heard through the word about Christ not the word about Kibuloy or not the word about Duterte or not the word about your neighbor or some gossip about your neighbor and friends not about that but through the word about christ that you will get faith if you hear the word about christ from hearing from reading too so yeah that's my bible verse for today and faith is not a gift of god it's you get it from hearing the message and the message is here through the word about Christ. It's not a gift. That's something you just receive. You develop it from hearing. And if you always hear the word of God then, and read the word of God, then you will have more faith. Your, not more faith, but your faith will be stronger. Like a firm foundation. If you always read the Bible and listen to people who are sharing the word of god that's how you will get your faith from you don't just 
get born and you suddenly know about Christ and you suddenly know about God and you suddenly know about how God made the world and how God planned in the future how how what's the plan of God in the future you just don't know it from birth you learn your faith from hearing the word of God so keep reading the Bible and keep listening to the people who are sharing the word of God and according here Romans 10 17 there's more to it Romans the second one I the this is the two verse Romans 10 17 and 18 not just 17 it says consequently faith comes from hearing the message and the message is here through the word about Christ but I ask did they not hear of course they did of course they did their voice has gone out into all the earth their words to the ends of the world so yung word of God thou yung faith that's why he's asking but I ask did they not hear people the author of the book was asking did they not hear how come they don't have faith are they not hearing anything and they vote and I don't know who of course they did I don't know who is he talking about is he talking to maybe it's angel or himself or I don't know who he was talking to I didn't really read the whole chapter but he's somebody answered of course they did because that's also my question why are other people not have faith in God and in Christ while some people have faith and some doesn't have and it says here of course they did of course people every people hear the word of God their voice has gone out into all the earth their words to the ends of the world the bible verse the bible went to the ends of the earth no one no one has ever heard about christmas or about christ about jesus because we celebrate christmas we celebrate um resurrection on april every april and it's very impossible if you will say to god and if you die suddenly and you and god say did you hear my word and if you will say no i didn't hear the lord it's very impossible because everybody know jesus and everybody most of the people know about jesus even the people in the mountain so it's saying here in the word that god make sure made sure that his word went to the ends of the earth and his word as i said as it says there before that it endures forever his word will endure forever it will endure in the fire in the war in the flood his word is still here and is still the number one translated book in the world and number one number one sold out book in the world and it's still remaining number one and the second it, this is them and the second maybe is just okay. if you want i can also share but i i didn't manage to write it i can only read it the 10 17 18 then the next verse is then the next verse 17 18 then 19 did the people of israel understand or not moses answered this question when he told that the lords had said oh moses was saying was the kind of saying um talking on this verse 
Did the people of Israel understand or not? Moses answered this question when he told that the Lord had said, I will make Israel jealous of people who are not who are a nation of nobodies. So Israel is Israel jealous of people who are nobodies? Like we Filipinos, we are nobody. We are a nation of nobody. We we are just you know we are we're just simple people. We're not like rich people. We're we're not like first world country. Um Israel I will make Israel jealous of people who are a nation of nobodies. I will make them angry at people who don't understand a thing. Ito, this one in verse 20 is more important, uh, is nicer. Isaiah was fearless enough to say that the Lord had said, I was found by people who were not looking for me. I think I, I better write it down. Because I like this verse. Uh, I don't have any more paper. Just wait a minute. I need this. I really like to share this verse to you. I was found by people. But I will just found by people who were not looking for me. I appeared to the ones who were not asking about me. And Isaiah said, about the people of Israel, all their love. And Isaiah said about the people of Israel all day long the Lord has reached out to people who are stubborn and refuse to obey. Ako ba yun? Ba yung Lord? Maybe or not. Uh, hindi naman ako stubborn. So, ito, this is the verse. There. I was not found by people who were not looking for me. I appeared to the ones who were not asking about me. And Isaiah said about the people of Israel, all day long, the Lord has reached out to people who were, who are stubborn and refuse to obey. So, God was showing to people who, who are not looking for God. But people, some people who are really looking for God, like, sorry, but this is just my understanding, no offense. Like, people are studying bachelor and everything for to learn the the word of god something like that but 
some of them. I don't know. That's just my my thinking. Okay. Get, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. But maybe they did. God didn't appear on them. But God appeared to people who are not looking for Him. See, I was not found by people who were not looking for me. I appeared to the ones who were not asking about me. So, God appeared to people who are not asking about Him. So, maybe the people who are in the mountain, God appeared on them. Because they're not really looking. If I live in mountain, I won't look for God. I'm just gonna look for food. So, maybe... Maybe that's what he mean by that. And Isaiah said about the people of Israel, All day long, the Lord has reached out to people who are stubborn and refuse to obey. So God is appearing to people who are stubborn and refusing to obey. I don't know who are that people. Maybe those people in that are bad people, like people in the prison. I don't say that the people in prison is bad, but... Maybe those people, those type of people, and the people who are, who are rebellious people. They, God is trying to reach out on people who are like that. So that's the verse. That's the continuation of this, of this Romans, Romans ten to seventeen and eighteen, and then this one, Romans ten. 20 to 21. Oh, I missed them 19. 18 and 19. So, that's the Bible verse for today. Uh, faith is not from, it's not a gift of God. It is, you get it from hearing the message. Because the gift of God, if you want, it will take long time again to explain. The gift of God is eternal life, not the faith. You, you, Something like this. I need a paper again. It's like um, God will give you a gift. For example, I'll give you this um, banana. Sorry, this is a bit off already. But it's like this is my gift for you. It's like that God gave it his life. Not just the banana, but his own life is his gift to people. To save us from our sins. It's like, it's his, it's my gift. But people can say, no, I don't like your gift. No thanks, I don't like that banana. It's off already. I mean, it's not nice. So that's a gift. Some people can accept that gift. Some people will refuse the gift. Some people will have faith. Because, okay, here's the gift. I already offered myself to something like that. Like Jesus already died for us and erased all our sins. It's only up to us to to have faith because the gift will only work if you believe. If you don't believe and you don't have faith, that gift is not it's not gonna work. You need to accept the gift. And believe in the gift and and yeah because because you know I'll share you again you know this is gonna be long I'm sorry this is already 19 minutes uh, I'll show share it to you that here it says here in Romans 6 23 for the wages of sin is death but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. So, it says here that the wages, kabayaran ng ating kasalanan ay kamatayan. The payment for our sins is death. We need to die to pay for our sins. But, Jesus offered his life. That's why he died. Okay, I, I will die in behalf of you. Something like that. To pay for our sins. 
that's the gift of God. It's eternal. That's why he died. Some people will think it's stupid. And why? Because the payment of sin is death. And Jesus need to die to pay for our sins. That's why he need to die. And that's why the faith is not the gift. The gift is the eternal life that was given by Christ because he died on the cross. And it says here too, if you declare with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. See? If you declare with your mouth and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So, if you believe if you believe that Jesus really died on the cross and died for three days and resurrected and God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. And that is the gift of God, the eternal life, his life. He, he erased all the sins of the whole world, not just the sin of one person, but the sin of the whole world from before from Adam and Eve to now and by that by that that's why we are celebrating that Jesus was successful and he said it's done when he does his last word in the cross because it's done erase 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 all our sins are erased and because of that that um death on the cross and here in Ephesians 2 verse 8 to 9 for it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. For grace is something given to us, even though we don't deserve it. Like, like Jesus doesn't need to die for us, because we don't deserve it. But because of his goodness, Jesus died for us. It's not... Because we are good, that's why he, he likes to save us. Nothing is good coming from us, but he just likes to save us. True faith. Grace, you have been saved, but there is true faith only if you believe. You will be saved only if you believe. But if you don't believe, maybe you're not saved. True faith, and this is not from yourselves. The salvation is not from ourselves. The salvation is a gift of God. It's not nothing coming from us to be saved. God is just good. That's why he's doing it, not because we are good. It is the gift of God, not by works. Not by works, see? Not by works. You, you can't do anything anymore. Like, you can't. Even though you do good things or bad things, or do good things, it's it's not counted. What is counted to be saved is your faith, your faith in Jesus. So no one can boast, because God doesn't want anyone boasting to him that I am a good person, so I deserve to go to heaven. So no one can boast, so it's not about good being good deeds, doing good deeds, but so no one can boast to God. We are saved because God is good and nothing else. He's just good and graceful, that's all, period. So yeah, that's the Bible verse for today. I'm sorry, it took 24 minutes. I didn't realize I talked that much. I thought I don't talk that much. Hmm. Okay, never mind. Thank you for watching and ha happy Christmas and happy Christmas and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and enjoy your holiday and I hope you understand my my explanation on my on these Bible verses. Uh, thank you very much. Um, I hope you you have faith. And I hope this sharing to you will increase your faith in Christ.
Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Bye. Thank you for watching.